Hey, it's Santi4. Went to work today and I uh, had a nice stack of cards waiting for me there. So yeah, let's get into what I got. And I also had John Scott Cup Rookie Patch Auto in the background. That came in the mail today too. It's like 20 bucks. So yeah, nice card. Second copy of that card that I have. So let's get into what I got from Comp C. First is this Jose Cruz. This is a Gallery of Heroes jumbo box topper from a... Uh, I don't even know what this is. From 1998 gallery i think i'm pretty sure it's from gallery yeah these are super cool nice stained glass love these stained glass cards I have a few other ones that are really cool so yeah, only if there were hockey cards like this too bad that there aren't maybe upper deck can pull something off or hopefully tops gets a license and makes stuff like that now let's get into the normal size cards. I've already taken them out of the sleeve so you don't have to watch me uh, take them out. So, First is this Knights of the Round Table jersey of Emmanuel Sanders. Pretty cool die cut. Nice looking card. This was like two bucks. Game used. Well, supposedly game used. Never know with Penny Football, but uh, yeah, it's out of 231. Strange numbering, but whatever. Cool card. Pretty nice looking. This was a couple bucks. This is a Shabazz Muhammad 1415 National Treasures Cyan printing plate. I thought it was a pretty cool plate. Got ink uh, all over it. So it looks pretty cool. If this were a card design on its own, it'd look pretty nice. Just put some text up there, the name, whatever, team name. It's a pretty good looking card on its own. Looks cool. I thought it would... It was really nice how the uh, inks all stretched on there. I don't. I don't even know. I've. I have no idea what it's called. I'm drawing a blank, but whatever. Who cares? Next is a uh, Ryan Barucki from 2018, 2019 Tops Inception. 2019 Tops Inception. This is the pink parallel, 23 of 99. Super nice looking card. These Inception cards are nuts. Yeah, really nice design on them. I like it. A couple bucks, too. Probably. Actually, I think it was only like 86 cents, so... Yeah, next we have a Bartolo Cologne. This is from 2019 Futera Unique Baseball. Or Futera Unique, or Futera Onyx Unique, something. It's a strange name like that. But this is the uh, Tribute Autograph on card Bartolo Clone 1 of 12. Pretty cool card. It's a very interesting product if you've never heard of it. It's uh, two prod or two brands, Futera and Onyx, like teaming up together to do this product. So it's pretty cool. It's super high quality cards too. I mean, super nice. Even the back's got foil and stuff. You read there, it even says on the card when... And where the card was signed. So, yeah, pretty neat. These Futera cards are nice. Uh, this was their first baseball product. They only do, they've only done this one baseball product and a bunch of soccer products. So, yeah, they're really nice cards. Next is a Corey Perry, one of those Colors and Contours Gold Level 3 from 15 16 MVP. These are nice cards. Nice addition to the PC. Yeah, these are pretty underrated cards. I think they're really nice. Pretty sweet looking cards. Here's another pretty cool looking card. This is a round ball royalty of a uh, Bob Pettit from 1718 Panini Crown Royal. This is the red parallel 37 of 75. Super cool. It's got some depth to it too. You can see there. It's pretty neat. Yeah, nice design. Crown Royal cards are always nice, so. Here's a pretty crazy looking card. Brandon Knight, Blue Velocity from last year's or 1819 uh, Donruss Optic. Yeah, the pattern looks really nice on this card since it's just a, uh, since it's just a straight one color background. Yeah, not number or anything. It's like 80 cents. Why not? Nice looking. Super shiny. Next is a quad jersey from 1617 SP Game Used. 
all-star skills fabrics. Dowdy, Perry, Quick, and Gibson. So, pretty cool card for the PC. Both teams and Corey Perry. Nice. I like it. Next is this Buster Douglas. Good one, Champions 3D. This isn't for me, though. Next is a Larry Nance endorsements from 1819 encased yeah 1819 this is the first off the lines bronze parallel numbered five of 12 this is a super nice card on card nice thick stock great design yeah can't go wrong i got this for like what four, four or five bucks too pretty sweet next is a will myers another short print card five of nine Jersey card from a uh, tribute twenty or not tribute twenty uh, twenty nineteen triple threads. Yeah, this was a couple bucks, I think two dollars and thirty five cents, something like that. So if you're a fan of stuff like this, just cheap looking nice cards, low numbered, comc.com is the place for you. So here's another cheap good looking card. Uh, this is like two bucks. Auto Porter, blue shimmer from nineteen or eighteen nineteen. Prism first off the line, number four of seven. Not bad. Good looking card. Always nice to get short print cards like that. Here's yet another short print card. Jerome Williams from 1516's Totally Certified. Uh, certified Competitors. This is the gold, mirror gold version. Nice on card autograph. Eight of ten. That was a, like three bucks. So, yeah, super nice looking card. In person doesn't show as well on camera as it does in person but yeah nice clean autograph next is a marquise lee super fx rookie autograph from 2014 sp authentic football pretty sweet got that ex look to it yeah pretty cool card i like it for like a dollar twenty-five, why not, right? Next is a cornerstones or legendary cornerstones. Uh, quartz of Mark Aguirre, numbered eight of twenty-three from sixteen seventeen. Grand Reserve can't go wrong for I think five bucks. Super nice card, quad patch on card autograph out of twenty-three. Super cool. Yeah, that's a nice card. Next is a Jonathan Abram on paralleled rookie autograph. This is the retail, what are they called? Cosmos parallel. These are cool. Got that pretty cool space look to it. It's got Saturn in there. Pretty cool. Not bad. Nice card. Next is a Corey Perry from 1011 Contenders. This is the playoff ticket base parallel. Very nice card. 67 of 100. Great design. Next, this is from 1617 Aficionado. These, this is a weird, or not weird, but not very popular product. International Ink. This is the Artist Proof Bronze Parallel. 48 of 49. Kind of a cool looking card. A couple bucks, why not pick it up? Next, this is a nice card for, I think this was $6.70. Gerald Green Immaculate Con or Immaculate Collection. Not Conception. Immaculate Collection. Christmas Day Jersey, 50 of 51. Nice, nice patch in there. That comes from the uh, four, like the cross section of the four, I'm pretty sure anyways. Yeah, pretty cool. What's neat about this? Closed game worn material worn on December 25th, 2015. Guaranteed, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, pretty cool piece there. Pretty nice for a two-color patch. Next is a Pedro Martinez franchise favorite. It's Atomic Refractor. It was like 60 cents. So I'm just, eh, why not? Nice looking card. Can't go wrong. Love these old school Bowman designs. So yeah, picked it up. 
Next is a Jonathan Quick postseason perfection. This is the green parallel 98 of 199. Not anything crazy, but, you know, anything with the Stanley Cup final king stuff I'll take. Yeah, cool. Nice how the 1.41 uh, goals against average in the playoffs. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Next is a Darren Archibald. Select update spring expo uh, cracked ice. The best player in Vancouver Canucks history, Darren Archibald, rookie. Yeah, I love these cracked ice cards. It doesn't show as well on camera as it does in person. But super nice card. Next is a Jordan Leggett, or Leggett, I don't know how you say this guy's name, from 2017 Prism first off the line. This is the Bronze Stars parallel. Love the stars pattern. Super, super nice. You can see. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah, nice card for a dollar twenty-five, I think this was. Yeah, cool. Next is also from Select 1314. This is the Spring Expo or something Expo Red parallel of Corey Perry. 34 of 35. Yeah, the select parallels are really nice. Can't go wrong. Next is from 2016 Tops Tribute. This is the uh, one of these certified tribute relics. This is the purple parallel of Chris Sale, 27 of 50. That was a nice card. Saw one of these at work and like, eh, I'll pick one up for myself. Cool. Next is the Dwayne Bow from 20, 2008. Upper Deck Masterpieces Football, just a jersey card. Nothing crazy, green frames really nice, canvas is nice. Game used, yeah for a dollar or whatever I paid for it, it's pretty nice. These are nicer than the uh, Upper Deck, or the hockey version of these, I think. These look a lot better. Uh, next is from 2016 Plates and Patches, 2016 right? Yeah, 2016 place and patches. Upper la upper echelon green autograph of Jordan Matthews. 20 out of 25. 8 of 25. On card autograph. Cool looking card. Doesn't show that well on camera, but yeah, it's a pretty nice looking card. This is a cool card. Uh, from 2018 Panini Flawless. This is uh, Thomas Davis. Just flawless patches. It's a pretty neat patch though from the Pro Bowl, 9 of 15. It's like the coolest one color patch you'll ever see because it's just gradient blue. It's pretty sweet. So, yeah, it's, you either consider this as a one color patch or it's like a 200 color patch as well, the different shades of blue in here. So, it's pretty cool. I like it. Like 8 bucks, something like that. Next is a Corey Perry SP Essentials, 47 of 1. 1011 SP Authentic. These look a lot better in person than they do on camera, trust me. It doesn't really show that well on camera, but they're pretty nice in person. Next is from 2012 Tops Valor is a Chris Johnson base card. 151 of 170. It's like 80 cents. Thought it was a cool looking card. Nice thick stock. Very nice design. These two are cool. These are the 1011 retro variations from 1011 series one, two. Quick and gets laugh. These are awesome cards. I love these. I want to get one of Corey Perry so bad, but the only ones in comps here are like 10 bucks. So I'll, I'll wait until one drops or another one pops up for cheap. These are like a dollar each. So yeah, very cool cards. I love those. This is an awesome card from 13 or no, 1213 Fleer Retro. This is the uh, Flare Showcase Hot Shots insert, Team and Solani. Super cool. Love the die cut on these. Super nice. Oops. <laughs> it's okay, though. Team and Solani, very nice card. A few bucks. Next, Commander Cody. 2018, 20, or no, 2019 Tops Masterwork. Blue, parallel. Nothing crazy there, but it's a nice card. Clone Wars, Commander Cody, can't go wrong. Next is from 2019 Tops Tribute. 
just the uh, tribute autograph blue version 147 and 150 of Brandon Nimmo kind of a nice card thought it'd be nicer but whatever Corey Perry white hot from 1011 Zenith very nice card out of 25 and I'm running out of time here I'll show two more cards this was a uh, cheap I got this for cheap because it was listed as the 99 version but it's out of 10 Jeff McNeil six piece patch from National Treasures Got that for like nine bucks. Pretty nice card. Demarius Thomas, 2019 encased base card out of five. This was like a dollar. That's all I have time to show. Um, you're not missing out on anything crazy. Usual mix of just random stuff from Comsi. Let me know what you think. That's it. Thanks for watching.